what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel guys thank you guys again for tuning in so today guys by the title of this video we're gonna be doing a how-to little tutorial on how to camel wrap your car or truck so i'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step showing you guys what you guys need all the tools and the 3m that i'm gonna be going with so let's get to it so these are gonna be the items that we're gonna be using for today's installation um obviously we're gonna need our heat gun you're gonna need gloves you're gonna need a flathead some prying tools just in case if you need to pop certain things out your scalpel tool a little blade so obviously you can cut the, the 3m and then your little squeegee and then i also have this other squeegee part which i can swip, uh, swap it out for a blade if i need to obviously remove anything um i don't think we necessarily need um to tape off anything um but again we'll have this just in case and you're gonna need your rag which we have it over there on that side um oh, here it is. Uh, you need a, a dry rag uh, this one is clean it just looks dirty um, so you can obviously uh, spray off the area clean it and then get some alcohol wipe it down and then start applying your, your vinyl now for the vinyl we're going to be using uh most of it's going to be 3m satin and then some of it i think it's going to be avery i believe it's going to be just actually this one and now that's going to be 3m 3m so yeah just this one is avery um shout out to get formula g uh, they hooked it up with all the vinyl wrap that I have here. They gave me a great deal for everything, um, including all this stuff in here too. But um, most of the stuff we're going to try to use, but not all of it. Um, like I said, I just want to do like little spots here and there of the car. Um, obviously, just everything, like I said, white. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to wipe down the area, hit it with some alcohol, just to make sure it's, we get all the dust, whatever the hell's on it, off. And then what we're going to do next is, so I'm kind of freehanding it, um, kind of making my own patterns um, for those who are doing it. Could either do like little stripes, do little, you know, squares, little triangles, however you want to do it. Um, but for me, I'm going to do my own little method of camo um, and then kind of go from there. I don't do vinyl wrap. I don't know how to do it. So we're, I'm kind of learning as I'm going is literally with my big piece of vinyl all I'm doing is with my little stencil I'm just cutting out my own pattern like I said um, as you guys can see um, they do look funky but once you add everything together um, it's gonna pop good so we're gonna do it in our little spots and then kind of go from there once you wipe down the whole area we're just gonna hit it with some heat so we can get everything off of there and then we're gonna apply to our film So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for tonight, um, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm fucking exhausted. It's pretty dark out. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll come out. This isn't the finished result. This is just, I still need to do a couple pieces in the back, and then obviously I need to throw in my grays, and then with my reds. Um, but this is pretty much it for tonight. Okay, so we're back. So it looks really, really good um, for my first time, not really knowing what the hell I was doing. Um, for the time, like I said, it took me about two and a half, about three hours. It took me a little long because I had to obviously adjust the camera and kind of go from there. I mean, so far, just like that, um, I try to spread it out evenly so I can have uh, room for my uh, grays and then obviously I have room for my reds. Um, but I mean, again, pretty good so far. Um, it's just coming up with your little patterns on how you want to do it. Notice is that the bigger pieces are like the most difficultest piece to install um, and these shits are a pain in the butt you have uh, certain ones that are pretty good but it's depending on how wavy or crazy you do the design makes it so much more difficult because obviously you have to start like i said from the top squeegee 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 and then you gotta squeegee this way and then you gotta squeegee this way and then squeegee this way um especially too because i was doing it at night so, but I had my light, but still, I think obviously that kind of played a big part too. Um, but again, not too terrible. Um, like I said, I left a decent amount of room because I do plan on probably covering those spots with obviously gray or some red overlaying some. Um, 
but today we'll probably finish off doing the rest of the car in black spots and then just kind of go from there with uh, adding the grays and reds um, because I think as of now this side is already pretty much good to go um, I just gotta work on the back bumper and the other side of the car and then obviously I still gotta work on the front um, bumper as well but I mean so far so good guys what do you guys think I just think in the comments I mean so far so good um, a little easy do it yourself um, obviously you're gonna have your little hiccups um, but I mean that comes honestly anything and everything but again at the end of the day this is my work this is something that I did and it's something that I'm proud of. Um, but I do have a shit ton of vinyl. So I have a, that black, that black, and then I still got some more. And then obviously I got my reds and all my grays. So honestly, this is uh, this was a bunch. Bro, it's like eight in the morning. It's already like 120 out. It's fucking hot. Now that the sun's coming out on this side, and dude, it's, it's hot as hell. I'm gonna try to stay out of there. And then I um, think I'm just gonna, what, what I'm gonna do is just now start, never mind, take that back. Um, damn it. Hmm. Fuck it. From the back, we're gonna start from the back. Start doing our grays and then start doing our reds. Um, so we can stay at least in the shade a little bit, or if anything, I'll probably do it on this side. Okay, so update. We're halfway through. We had to move the car to the shade because, man, I was, I was freaking dying in the freaking heat, to be honest with you. But we moved the car to the shade. We're almost done with the gray. I uh, just got the front fender, and then that's pretty much it. And then we can just start the red and kind of go from there. Woo! Fuck. But let's get to it. I'm tired as hell, though, to be quite honest with you. But that's it so far, man. And, man, that looks, honestly, that looks freaking good. Not too bad for, uh, for a first-timer. That goes to show you guys. I mean, I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. But, I mean, just with obviously your little shapes and just throwing it all together i mean it comes along real good so i have to do the front bumper but like i said it's too damn hot i'm just going to continue this side finishing up the little grays throw in a little bit of red and then we'll just continue later on tonight with uh this other part but hopefully it's not a three-day process but it kind of seems like it's going to be Finally, the car's right behind me. It's finally done. Nice. I'm so excited and I'm so happy the way it came out. It came out just how I envisioned it. Um, and honestly, I'm just truly so, uh, I'm just so happy that it came out perfect, exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, but truly, it took about, about two and a half days. The reason why it took so long was because obviously I got my kids, I had to work, I had a bunch of other things that I had to do. So I couldn't dedicate so much time to it. So that's why I had to break it into obviously one day, two days, and a day and a half. Uh, but honestly, you can get it done within either a day or two, obviously, depending on you guys. Um, you can knock it out, honestly, very, very quickly. So excited how it came out. It looks so sick. And, um, and again, if you guys want to go check out Formula G, you can search them on Instagram at Get Formula G. They hooked it up with all the vinyl. And again, I appreciate you guys for hooking it up, giving me a great price for everything. And I hope you guys also enjoyed uh, how the car turned out. Um, like I said, I'm just, ah, it's sick, it's sick. But like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, it's gonna have its little imperfections, it's gonna, but I try to tweak it, make, make it work out. And obviously I try to do some double layers and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm gonna let it sit for maybe about four, 
or six days depending i think you have to let the vinyl settle in uh so i don't plan on washing it uh we're gonna leave it like that for a bit but we'll do the little reveal But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys haven't, because Instagram is the first to see it, you can check me out on West Valley Productions on Instagram. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.